Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our previous video, we have learned about the Jinja, basics of Jinja, right? So uh, in this video, we'll see some of the examples of uh, Jinja, okay? So first we'll see the plain SQL, then we'll see like how we can solve the same query using the uh, Jinja templating. Uh, so uh, now, uh, see if you if you are following along with uh, my whatever the videos I've uploaded so far. So I have configured uh, destination to be a snowflake, right? So uh, going forward, uh, so I'll be using uh, MySQL uh, as my data warehouse because uh, uh, the SQL uh, my uh, snowflake comes with 30 days free trial, right? So in case uh, uh, after 30 days, if you want to do the practice, you're not able to continue with those projects. So what I suggest uh, is like in case if you want to uh, practice more and uh, in case if you are preparing for the DBT certifications, right? So then you can have the local setup, right? So you can connect uh, the DBT project with your MySQL or SQL server. So um, to do the setup for the MySQL already uploaded in my channel, you can just go and check and try to do the setup. And uh, so whatever we have executed uh, up to Jinja, right? I'm, I mean, like you can execute everything in the uh, MySQL as well. So if you are good with Postgres or SQL Server, you can continue with that also. Okay, but concepts remain same. So uh, so to get, before getting started, okay, I just wanted to show you like how the setup looks because uh, if you are uh, following along with me so that you'll not get confused, right? Uh, so here, uh, so I have created uh, uh, a new environment uh, in my uh, system, okay, so it's called my env sql and I have uh, installed all the requ uh, uh, requirements like I have uh, done dbt init, then I have installed uh, dbt connectors like I have installed the mysql connector, right, uh, so my project is uh, up and running, I mean like whatever we have done so far in the snowflake, uh, everything is working fine, okay, so if I just do here uh, dbt debug, Okay, so basically it will check all the connection details, right? Uh, so, uh, so let's let's verify that. You can see like I have connected to my local host, uh, MySQL. Uh, so this is MySQL Workbench, right? So I have connected to MySQL, and uh, the port is three three zero six, and the database uh, right now got not uh, selectively configured to any database. Okay, uh, uh, but uh, yes, you can just modify that using the profiles.ml file, right? So I have uh, already uh, spoken about the what is profiles.ml file. So schema is dbt dev, right? You can see this is my dbt dev and all the models has been built inside this dbt dev, okay? And um, so next, uh, the connection is working fine and the user is root, right? And uh, so just to, uh, so let me open this in my VS code and this is how the project looks, right? So I have, uh, so analysis, almost everything, everything will remain same, right? So we have same folder structure like analysis, dbt packages, logs, macros, models, seeds, snapshots, target, test, right? And if I expand the models, I have various models here, right? So we have march and staging. And uh, uh, I hope you remember like whatever we have done in the Snowflake, the same thing, right? So we have dim customers and fact orders, right? And uh, so in the, in, the, in the staging models, we have stage customers and stage orders. Right, so just to verify once, okay, let me get into the terminal and let's do dbt run just to uh, check whether everything is uh, working fine, right? So in the VS code, let me do dbt debug first, uh, dbt debug. Okay, so all checks passed. So now if I do dbt uh, run, Okay, so all the models have many models. Okay, uh, so uh, in case like if you're following along, I hope you have this models like dim customers, fact orders, stage customers and stage orders, right? So yes, so all the models has been successfully built and I'll show you like where this model is built. Okay, so all this model has been built inside the uh, dbt dev. This is my schema name and inside the tables, you can see I have various uh, models over here, right? So uh, like dim customers. So if I just wanted to show you the dim customers, my dim customers, right? So let me first uh, use uh, dbt dev. Uh, so here, so I'm uh, I'm telling this is a schema, okay? So no, uh, sorry, whenever you are connecting with MySQL, so we don't have a schema concept here, right? So basically I'm referring to database itself, okay? So this is my raw database. Uh, so where I have loaded all my raw data, okay? So this is my raw database. I have raw customers, raw orders, and raw payments. And uh, so I'm building all the models uh, that are ready to be consumed models inside this dbt dev database. 
okay so let me use that and if i just wanted to show you one a model result like select star from uh, dim underscore customers and yes this is my uh, uh data or uh, records uh, for the dim customers okay so this is uh, this, is, this is all about the connection so uh, i'm just continuing with whatever i have discovered in the uh, in the previous part right so in the previous part i have um, started with jinja basics right uh, i have uh, taught you like what is uh, how to use uh, if if conditions for loops and uh, so how to create variables list and dictionaries and uh, all those things right and let's see like how we can just implement those things in our models okay i'll be showing few examples okay so this is how you can just build it and uh, so whenever you are refactoring your sql code using jinja this is some of the examples you can take a reference of that fine so here i've created a separate folder okay so called uh, jinja examples i have various examples here okay so let's start with first example very simple examples like uh, i have a model called i rock customers right so here uh, i don't have any uh, jinja templating here right so this is my uh, i rock customers we have i rock orders as well as i rock payments right so here uh, so i just wanted to show you like how we can use a uh, 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 what a jinja template right so uh, so here you can just guess okay so how i can just uh, replace this a uh, part of code using a jinja template okay so if you guessed it right yes so i can just change uh, one line here that is this line okay this part of code uh, that is like i can just replace this with uh, a source function right so i can just create a ml file and i can just create a source function so uh, so right now we have discussed about a config block right so if i just expand my first dbt model so this is one of the jinja template right so we have used the config block so even we have used the ref function so the even we have used about the source function so what is the config block so if i want to materialize something to be a table view or any other materialization so you can just add this a config block and this is Jinja, it's a part of Jinja, right? So you can see two curly braces open and we have just closed two curly braces, right? Similarly, like I have some simple models here, okay? So if I just want to refactor this using Jinja, so this part I can, uh, so we don't have anything to change, but yes, we can just refactor this using a source function. So I can start with two curly braces. I can just write source, right? So let me uh, show that uh, to you. So if I just go and check here, uh, so let me open uh, so if i just type here uh, dbt uh, source function right so i can just add a source function and this is how the jinja looks right so this this is what one thing i can just change uh, in this uh, in this right so this is what so even for the orders also i can just update this right and even for the payments even i can just update this right so these are very simple examples okay uh, so whenever you have any uh, uh, queries right so if you if you're refactoring that into a format of models using the dbt okay so jinja comes into rescue because so there are many built-in functions you can just write that in your code okay uh, so let's start with uh, uh, payments very simple examples okay uh, so let me search for that models um, mm, yeah so like this one of the example right so i'm just using ref function to do that <clears throat> so just a second i'm just checking few examples here okay so let me create a new model okay uh so what we can do is just just give me a second so let let uh, let me copy some code uh so let me uh in uh, okay so this is my uh sample code okay so this is pure sql okay let me copy this and let me go to uh, vs code and inside the jinja examples so let me create a new file i'll just name this file as uh, uh plain uh sql uh payments pivoted model uh payments uh pivoted payments pivot dot sql okay so let me create this model okay so let me paste the code here okay so here uh so before getting into this okay let me go and show you uh, uh so what actually i have in my data uh, in the in the my sql so here we have various models right so here i have iro payments okay let me check like what we have in iro payments if i do uh, select star from 
by raw underscore payments okay and here you can see like i have payment id i have order id i have payment method uh, payment status and amount and uh, so i uh, i want to create a a pivot for the payments okay so based on the payment method so i want to do the sum of all the amounts uh, uh, uh grouping by payment method like i want all the amounts sum of amounts by credit card coupon bank transfer uh then uh the other whatever the, we have like in the payments method right so let's try to try to uh, let's try to create a pivot for that okay uh, so let me get into here and this is what i have done so with payments select star from so this time i'll be referring to i stage payments okay so i need to check whether the i stage payments is already built right so we have i stage payments which is already being uh, executed and it's up and running in my uh, my sql uh, so next uh, i have created one more ct called a uh, final right so there i'm selecting order id uh, so then i'm just uh, doing the sum okay so and applying the case when the payment method is equal to bank transfer then do the sum and I'm just renaming that as a bank transfer amount. And similarly for the credit card. So this is uh, just do the sum and for the coupon and for the gift card from payments. Okay. So from payments. Fine. So this CT. Fine. And I'm just grouping that by order ID. Right. And I'm just doing select star final. Okay. So let's try to build this model. So let me save this control S. Okay. And so we know the commands. It's dpt run hyphen hyphen select. Uh, and the model name that is uh, plain uh, SQL uh, payments payments uh, uh, pivot dot SQL. So this dot SQL. Uh, so you can see. So this dot SQL uh, is throwing error. Okay. So if you're using SQL Server, so it it will not throw any error. So make sure when you're working with the MySQL, don't give dot SQL. Just give the model name. Okay. uh i'm getting some error ic payments was not found i stage payments i raw sorry it's not stage sorry so it's not stage it's i raw i'll do control s once again and because this is my i raw right so i raw payments i raw payments fine so let me do once again okay so this model is built let me go to my sql and refresh and uh, basically it has to build as a view right uh plane yeah so this is my plane okay so if i do select if i do select uh star from a uh, plane or uh, sql payments underscore pivot okay so this is my uh, actual data right so for the a uh, bank transfer amount uh, can see the order id uh, so five has been spent this is the total sum amount uh, for the order id one so total spend amount for the bank transfer is zero for credit card is ten thousand rupees coupon amount is zero and gift card zero right so this simple pivot table which we have created for the payments uh, method okay so now assume like i want to refactor this and i want to uh, use a jinja okay sql plus jinja okay so we can just give a try so how i can just replace this part of code uh, using the jinja right so we can just pause the video and try then um, it's, I, I, anyways i'm going to uh, share the solution fine so now let's uh, try to refactor this uh, plain sql with jinja plus sql format right so let me create one more model so i'll just go and create a new model so i'll just write here um, payments pivot just payments pivot payments underscore pivot dot sql okay so already have typed it okay so uh, so this is what so let me explain this okay let me copy this and let me paste it over here okay okay so what i've done so here so because uh so as soon as you see some some part of code which is repeated uh all right so in case like what if you have uh, hundreds of payments method of course you can't write or uh, everything this repeatedly 100 times right so here i can just replace this with uh i can just uh, have a payment method inside the list i can just loop over the list that's what i have done okay so here i've just created uh, a list called payment methods and have a different payments method like bank transfer credit card coupon and gift card okay these are the different payment methods okay so next uh, so same query so i have created a ct called uh, payments and it's referring to not it's not stage payments it's i uh, raw it's i raw payments okay i'm referring to i raw payments and uh, so we have final ct 
I'm selecting the order ID similar to order ID. So then this part of query has been replaced with a for loop. So can you see here? So for payment method in payment methods, this is my payment methods. Uh, I can read like this, like for bank transfer in payment methods, uh, just do the sum, okay? Uh, sum equals to bank transfer, then amount, right? As amount underscore amount. So I'm just uh, doing the alias similar to this, right? So I'm just taking this bank transfer payment method name and underscore uh, amount, okay? That's what I've done, payment amount and underscore amount. So it will keep on looping it, okay? Uh, because, uh, so as per the syntax, right? So uh, you can see like I have a comma here, comma here, comma here, and I don't want comma at the last part of the query, okay? So basically I'm telling, I'm just adding some if condition, that is if not loop dot last. In case if, if it is not loop dot last, just keep on adding the comma, okay? And in case if this is the last loop, then don't add the comma, okay? Because this condition will fail, right? So this is just uh, whatever we have just replaced with the Jinja, right? So we have for loop and we are just looping over the payment methods and doing the sum uh, uh, alongside, right? And in that for loop, even if we have a condition to add to handle this comma, right? So I'm just telling, so if it is not a last loop, okay? So just add the commas. In case if you reach the last loop, then don't add this, okay? Because this condition will fail. Okay, so rest everything will remain same. Let me do control S and let's build this model. Uh, so it's dbt run hyphen hyphen select. So let me give the model name. It's called uh, payments uh, uh, underscore uh, by which make enter. Mm -hmm. So in the payments, I'm dbt will unable to find the controls. So we're looking for payments pivot. Payments, is it the name is correct? I can select P A Y M E N T S scope pi P I V O T. That's correct. Okay, the same name. Fine. So let me rename this. So I'll just rename this to uh, uh, I am. Okay. I am. Let me do control S. Okay. I just replace that with payments pivot I am. Enter. Okay, so this model got executed. So now let me uh, go to my SQL and refresh this once again. Refresh this once again. And uh, so here, so let me check the result. This is my payments pivot, uh, right? So it, the result has to be same, right? So if I do uh, select, select star from payments, uh, pivot I am okay. So if I execute, you can see I'm getting the same results over here. Uh, so now let me show you some more examples. Okay. Uh, so for example, uh, I want to see the dynamic customer segmentation, right? Uh, so this is how the co code looks, right? So here I have the uh, list. Uh, so and uh, th this contains different uh, dictionaries here, dictionary elements. Uh, like uh, we, uh, we have this pin. Uh, tiers here, right? Uh, so here we have a uh, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. So here I've just added some case statements. Uh, so based on this uh, tier, so we can uh, have the customer segmentation whether it comes under bronze, uh, silver, gold, or platinum. So this is called dynamic customer segmentation. So point here is like we need to see like how we are implementing the. Uh, Jinja in our SQL code. Okay, so this is what you need to learn. Okay, it's not about the code part. So you can just write, you can just refactor your existing uh, SQL in uh, into uh, uh, Jinja templates. Like in case, like if you're using, so you have, uh, you want to loop over some some things, and uh, so this is how you can just replace with the Jinja code. So let me show you the result for this, like dynamic customer segmentation, which is already built here. So this is my dynamic customer segmentation. So if I do. Uh, so let me uh, select rows records you can see. So we have customer ID, uh, it comes under platinum, he comes under platinum, then we have Jimmy, platinum, silver, okay. So this is all this customer segmentation uh, query is, is all about. Okay, so this way you can just refactor your existing plain SQL with the uh, Jinja uh, format. So going forward, we'll see uh, many more examples and we're gonna cover uh, everything uh, which comes under DPT core. Please subscribe to my channel so that uh, so it will motivate for me to 
uh, upload a content daily.